Welcome to the online class. Dear students, Assalamu Alaikum. Today we will start a new chapter, which is chapter 5, and the name is Energy and Matter. And to discuss this, here is Muhammad Abu Naim, assistant teacher, National Indian Version School. Dear students, according to the chapter's name, uh, I have divided uh, this class into two parts. First part is energy and second part is matter. Today we will discuss the first part. So dear students, open your book and go to page 30. Energy and matter. Energy is the ability to do things. We use energy in everything that we do. What is energy? We use energy to walk to school and to ride a bicycle. We need energy to run a computer or to cook our food. A car uses energy to run. Energy can change the form or position of something. Forms of energy. There are many different forms of energy like below. Electrical energy. The energy is used to run electric appliances such as fan, TV, light, washing machine, etc. Mechanical energy. The form of energy that a moving object has. Wind can be an example of mechanical energy because it can run windmill. Energy of a moving car is also mechanical energy. Light energy. The energy that can create different types of light and helps us to see is called light energy. It can pass through transparent matter. We get light energy from sun, electric light, candle, etc. Sound energy. The energy that helps us to hear is called sound energy. Sound comes from the vibration of objects. It travels through air or other matter. We use it to enjoy music. Thermal energy or heat energy. Heat is a form of energy. We get heat energy from the fire of stove or electric iron. Chemical energy. Chemical energy remains stored in food, fuel, coal, etc. From the discussion, we can say what is energy. Let's see. By which the form or the position of something can be changed is called energy. Or we can say energy is the ability to do work. We have seen from the book there are different kinds of energy available in the world. Mechanical energy, electrical energy, sound energy, thermal energy, chemical energy, light energy. We use this kind of energy in, in our everyday life. Okay, now, dear students, go to page 31. Sources of energy. You have observed that energy is used in various work in different ways. We get energy from different sources. Sometimes energy comes from coal, oil or food and sometimes it comes from wind or water current. Sometimes we get energy from battery or generator. We get heat, light, electricity, sound energy from those sources. If we observe closely, we found that the main source of all energy is sun. Transformation of energy. Page 33. Energy can be changed from one form to another. The change of energy from one form to another is known as energy transformation. For example, we get solar energy directly as light and heat. But solar energy can change its forms. When plants make food by themselves, they change the light energy from the sun to chemical energy. When animals eat these plants as food, they transformed the stored chemical energy into heat and mechanical energy. Solar panels can change light energy into electrical energy. When we switch on TV, electrical energy is transformed into light, heat and sound energy. Dear students, you must have uh, the clear conception of two words. In the uh, definition of uh, energy, it says change of form or change of position. Here, if it says change of form, it is called actually transformation. And if it says the change of position, it is called actually transfer. So transfer and transformation is much different words. Okay, dear students, now let's see how the energy can transform from the source to other forms. At first, we will see mechanical energy to chemical energy. Here, the water current is a source of electrical energy. When water flows, the turbine rotates. The moving turbine uh, produces electricity by using generator. Dear students, I am showing you a picture so that you can understand the process uh, so easily. Here, the, when water is flowing uh, through a canal, the turbine is moving. And this moving turbine is uh, producing electricity 
by using uh, the generator here. Now let's see another source which is airflow. We know airflow is called wind. When air flows, the turbine rotates. This moving turbine producing electricity by using generator. Dear students, this is a windmill by which wind is transformed into electrical energy. Now let's see another transformation. Here electrical energy we get from chemical energy. We use electrical energy uh, in our everyday life and we get it from chemicals because we use battery to uh, which produce electrical energy. Dear students, we know the main source of energy is sun. We get different kinds of energy from the sunlight. Look at the picture here. We get sunlight from the sun and from sunlight we get electrical energy by using solar panel here. We know solar panel transform the light energy into electrical energy. And we get sound energy by using speakers. Mechanical energy by using electric fan. We get uh, light energy from electric energy by using light bulbs. Now I am showing you a picture so that you can understand the whole process. Look at the picture. Here we get sunlight from the sun. And uh, at the rooftop, here is a solar panel. You can see the blue uh, board is solar panel. Solar panel uh, transform the light energy into electrical energy. And here, uh, this electrical energy is uh, stored in a battery. And from there, we use the electrical energy and get light energy by using bulbs and sound energy by using a uh, speaker or TV and we get mechanical energy by using electric fan and so on. Dear students, now we see a practical example of transformation of electrical energy into heat energy. In our home, we must see this very often. When we use iron, uh, we uh, get heat energy from the electric energy like this. Now we will know about transfer of heat. Go to page 35. Energy can be transferred from one place to another in many different ways. Transfer of heat. Transfer of heat is the flow of thermal energy from warmer place to cooler place. This means you must remember that heat always transfers uh, from warmer place to cooler place. Thermal energy is transferred through three different processes. Conduction, convection and radiation. At first, conduction. Transfer of heat through solid matter is called conduction. You must remember that heat is transferred by using this process through solid material. For example, if we place a metal spoon in the hot water, soon it begins to feel hot. This is because the spoon is heated by hot water and then the heat spreads to the cooler end of the spoon. Now convection. Transfer of heat energy through the gases and liquids is called convection. Here you must remember that heat transfers by using this process uh, when it uh, needs to transfer through liquid or gases. For example, when we put a pot of water on a stove, the heated water near the bottom of the pot rises top. At the same time, the cold water near the top sinks into the bottom of the pot and then it is heated and rises to the top. Through this process, heat spread from the top uh, to the bottom of the pot. Page 36. Radiation. Radiation is the process in which energy is emitted uh, from a source without any medium. Here, heat can transfer uh, by this process uh, without any medium. That means it need no medium to uh, transfer Conduction can work through solids and convection can work through liquids and gases, but radiation can even work without any medium. This is why we can feel the heat of the sun even though it is millions of kilometers away in space. With the same process, we feel the heat of fire or light bulbs. Transfer of lights. Light is a form of energy that helps us to see. Light travels as radiation. Light can transfer without any medium such as solids, liquids and gases. Light does not need any medium to transfer. This is how light from the sun, the moon and stars reaches the earth. 
Page 37. Proper use and saving of energy. How can you save energy? Why is saving energy important? We use energy in many work every day. Most of the energy we depend on come from non-renewable energy resources such as oil, coal, and natural gas. This cannot be replaced once we use them up. Therefore, we have to use energy resource wisely. Wasting energy is not good for the environment. By saving energy, we can help to preserve energy resources and prevent pollution. How to save energy? Here are a few ideas uh, of what you can do to save more energy. Turn off lights and appliances when you are not using them. Do not leave the refrigerator door open any longer than you need to. Plant trees to help shade houses on hot summer days. Open the curtains and use the sunlight instead of turning on lights. Walk or use bicycle instead of using car as much as possible. Let's get back to the discussion. From the book we have seen that there are three processes of transfer of heat. The first one conduction, second one convection, third one is radiation. I am showing you uh, some pictures uh, to understand uh, this process uh, more. Okay, first one is conduction. Look at the picture here. Here, a fry pan is uh, placed on a stove. But after some time, when you touch the handle of the pan, uh, we can uh, feel that the handle is uh, heated. How it, it happened? Actually, here, uh, the pan is solid medium. So, heat is transferred uh, through this solid medium by using the process of conduction. Now, let's see the second process. Look at the picture here. Some uh, liquid is uh, heated here. At first, the molecules of the liquids, uh, liquid at the bottom of the jar is heated first, then uh, it rises up. Then the other particles are uh, uh, go, uh, go down to the jar and get heated further. This is the convection process through which heat can transfer uh, from one place to another through liquid or gases. Let's see the third process. Here it is radiation. When we uh, place our hands near to the uh, fire or light bulbs, we feel some heat to our hands. Actually, radiation is a process through which uh, heat uh, do not need any medium. Let's see how sound energy can transfer. Here, look at the picture. This is a speaker in the center of the picture and it is uh, creating sound and uh, those uh, small particles are air molecules. When the speaker uh, makes sound, uh, this energy strikes the uh, near particles of the air and then these uh, particles are go away from the speaker. Thus, sound energy uh, is transferred uh, from one place to another place using the medium. Dear students, here are some sample short questions and here are some uh, sample broad questions also. You will get all of their answers uh, in your sheet uh, which is provided by your school. And I hope all of you have enjoyed the class today. Uh, inshallah, see you again in my next video. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.